What's up? It's HiringADrone.com, and today I'm going to be doing a uh, flight with my V303 Seeker. It's been a while, been out of town, so I haven't had a chance to fly this in uh, quite some time. So I'm going to go ahead and get it all set up, ready to fly. So on this um, quadcopter, it's a little bit different. You know, you got to make sure all your sticks are forward here turn on the receiver first we're gonna go ahead and open the battery bay fish out our power cable and slide our battery in and then we're gonna go ahead and connect quadcopter we're gonna listen for some beeps here while it finds the satellites at the same time, we're going to try to jam our battery cables back into the slot here on the right-hand side. So we've got it packed in there for en far enough. And once we find our satellites, We got Sally Green on our on our tail light here. We're gonna move it up more onto level ground, and then we're gonna perform the magnetic compass calibration. So we're gonna pull down on the stick, click the three times, rotate horizontally first. On and two second one we're going to do vertical one two three on the switches nose down red light on one two let's do a three for good measure and then we need to save our data stick down one two Three, lights on. So it looked like we might have had a, a, a failure on our saving. So we're gonna go ahead and do this again. Three, vertical, one. Horizontal. And save data. Okay, this time it looks like it took. So it looks like we're ready to fly. We turn the GoPro on on the bottom. And we'll start recording on that camera as well. We're going to try to find some level ground to take off from and to uh, start the engines. Going to pull both sticks down to the bottom corners and we have liftoff. So there is a strong headwind here. Seems to be fighting it pretty well. There seems to be some oscillation with the motors, especially in the wind when it's blowing. And take it up, get some shots of the mountain here, as well as the ocean. It's starting to do a little bit of a wiggle there. You can see with the oscillation, it's overcompensating for the wind blowing. It is strong winds, but um, you know, I'm not sure how to correct this. Since can't really tap into the flight controller. But 
those things shaking pretty bad. So we don't fly long. We'll just get a short little flight in. Uh, it seems to be leveling out, but the wind is not blowing hard again. So it primarily appears to be while the head is turned into the wind, the wind's blowing from the side, it's, it's not doing it as bad. But again, I mean, these are uh, probably not flying conditions, so. You can see the different motors hitting. Now we got the tail end to the wind. just uh, keeps overcompensating for itself. So it's probably tuned up maybe a little bit too high, but still uh, with the high winds, not bad. So we'll just try to get some shots in here with the onboard camera, sunset down the ocean downtown. Fly it out a little bit, see. I'm having a little bit of an air range issue with this quadcopter, so see how far we can take it out and see what happens. It really dropped the price on these quadcopters, but you know everybody that I've read online, they've all been having issues with them. Myself included, I've been a little bit luck here. I've been able to at least bind, fly, but um, terrible range. Only about 50 meters or so. Today it's handling pretty well, so not much to complain about. Now that the winds died down a little bit, it's a steady light breeze lighter breeze, not seeing as much of a wobble. But for a GPS quadcopter in this price range, I think this is probably one of the better ones if you can uh, get one that works, or in my case at least one that goes you know, 50 meters or so. I don't have F FPV on it, so going too far out isn't that big of a deal. There's our red light indicator letting us know it's losing its connection with the quadcopter. We got full control over it again, so. are, are kind of dead in the air. Got to limp it back by only got left to right when it does that until I get my pitches back. Now I got those back. It's bizarre. Not sure what the issue is. I did see some uh, rust spots on the board inside on the 
transmitter on the controller, so um, look like I got possibly a used piece. So I'm gonna try ordering a new controller. See if that'll help out. Maybe a new receiver. Other than that, I mean, it flies fine. It's just that range issue. There's the red light again. So I only have left, right, no pitch. I do have my rotation so I can rotate it back to me. Got my pitch back again. You know, it's not the area. I think there's a lot of power lines around in this area, but it happens in uh, other locations too as well. So. It's the V303 Seeker, so hopefully one day we'll get the issues worked out with it, but for now, looks like it's a 50 meter or less quadcopter. <laughs> 